Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our quick knowledge playlist. And today's topic is about effective wellbore radius. It is very important and it is very interesting for us. All right, so let's go ahead. And today's issue is about effective wellbore radius. All right. Okay, so talking about effective wellbore radius, or you can also call it equivalent wellbore radius, we start from a well. All right, it can be oil well, it can be gas well, and also it can be geothermal well. We have this well. All right, this one within the reservoir, of course. And the well bore radius of this well is RW. Okay, we have RW, we have RW of this well. And let's say this well has formation damage, right? This well is damaged. This is the well, and this is the zone of the damage. This is the well, and this is the damage zone. Okay. The wellbore radius of this well, the original or the initial wellbore radius of this well is still RW. But regarding the productivity of this well, or the capacity of this well to enable fluid flow, now we can see another wellbore radius which is different from the initial or original wellbore radius. And we call that new wellbore radius the effective or equivalent wellbore radius, right? This one, RWF or RW effective, which is RW, all right? Now multiplied by this factor, e to the power of minus s. And the s is of course the skin factor. Okay, so now, although we still have the RW, but the capacity of the well is now changed. The productivity of this well is now changed such that we have, or we can say, or we can see another wellbore radius, which is more effective to be used. And this one is applicable. RW multiplied by E to the power of minus skin factor. Okay, so you can see, when we have formation damage, we have positive skin factor. And this one, e to the power of minus of the positive skin factor, now we can also use one divided by e to the power of positive s, all right? And the value, this factor can be very, very, very small, zero comma zero, zero, zero something, right? Such that the effective wellbore radius is now very small compared to the original wellbore radius, right? So the formation damage or the positive skin factor is very dangerous to our productivity or our capacity to enable flow from the reservoir to the surface, right? It cuts down our productivity, okay? Because it is shrinking the wellbore radius. And if you have smaller wellbore radius, then it means that the productivity also drop, right? The capacity of the well to flow the fluid is shrinking also due to the shrinking wellbore radius. But for example, we stimulate the well. Okay, so now we have this one, the smaller wellbore radius, the effective wellbore radius, which is far smaller than the original or initial wellbore radius. And of course, with this small wellbore radius, the capacity of the well, the productivity of the well is also decreased. But for example, we stimulate the well. For example, we conduct hydraulic fracturing. We bypass the damage or we remove the damage. Now, instead of positive skin, we have negative skin value. But what will you have if you have now a negative skin factor. You can see from this formula again, the effective wellbore radius is now initial or original wellbore radius multiplied by E to the power of minus of minus skin factor, or this one will change to E to the power of positive S, right? And for any positive S at this power, all right, you will always have this factor to be greater than one, all right? So it will enlarge the wellbore radius, okay? So it is sort of enlarging 
making the whale bore bigger. Okay, so the effective whale bore radius is now greater than whale bore radius. And of course, it will enlarge the capacity of your whale bore. It will enhance the productivity of your whale bore, right? So that is the concept of effective whale bore radius, which is very, very connected to the skin factor, all right? If you have formation damage, you will have positive skin factor and it will decrease your whale bore radius. Whereas if you have a stimulated well, you will have negative skin value, negative skin factor, and it is sort of enlarge your well, making your well bore bigger, which enhance the capacity or productivity of your well. All right, so that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Angman videos. Thank you.